I'm my only concern is it's got a bit of fucking dodgy water in it at bottom here, mate. Art Club is a multifaceted creativity podcast existing on the nexus between art, culture, and current events. Hosted by Kieran Globel. Kieran Globel. Got it. Get it. That's how we do it around these parts. <laughs> Okay, while I let that dry, I think I'll visit uh, the Yard Life Gallery because they have got a new print exhibition. Come with me and we'll go and check it out. <clears throat> By the way, I'm very rusty at this, so... Walk and talk. Ah, exactly. Walk and talk is the way to do it. Does it feel weird me pointing this mic at you? It fucking does, mate. It fucking does. <laughs> so, I'm here with Gaz, Mac. Everyone in Glasgow will be familiar with that name, won't they? Godfather of Glasgow Graph, would you say? No, 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 no. Yeah, no. Do you not agree? Uncle, Uncle Gaz to a few. <laughs> Uncle Gaz to a few, many. Um, he's taking us a tour. The, the, host, the host site for Yardworks 2022. Yardworks is an annual graffiti and street art festival held on the 18th and 19th of June at SWG3 Glasgow. It features artists from across the country and around the globe. It's always a fucking buzz. I've got Rask, I've got Bonsai, I've got Bubble Gumser, I've got Zurich, William Bononi, L7, Got Ham, Inky, got you can't be Yardworks without Inky. Uh, um, Inky has to be here. Um, there's Views on here, there's Rogue on here, Phil Blake on here. Mm-hmm. What's that, Thick and Thin are they called? Uh, Conjugal Bell, is that the guy? I see, that's the guys, man. I've that's heard of the guys, the guys before. Ah, oh, they're alright. They usually uh, make, make right. these events happen they're with our... Conjo's a lovely guy, Kieran's a bit <laughs> weird, man. I've got Tizer, this one's up, I'm hoping. Uh, that Mac Daddy, that, that, that godfather of Scottish graffiti. Mac One? Mac One. Mac One, Mac one FCK? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a bad boy. Mac May, or Molly Hankinson. Cobalt Collective speaks for itself. Michaela, Tam Lightbody, Morph, Poser, at Tom Sled, Voiders coming up, Mark Worst, hopefully nice. Dane Gable ends there. Awesome. All the Glasgow writers, the Tap End Tefs, the Tiles, etc, etc. They're all going to be doing the railway arches and a big mix and a collab on the railway arches. That's going to happen the week before that. So um, most of these have been uh, painted over. Yeah. Um, so these are getting ready to be repainted, these arches? Yeah, aye. There'll be, there's, a, there's a sort of big weekend coming up before Yardbox. Obviously because of the noise and the busy road, it gets a wee bit wild on this road sometimes, so this was done the other day, be, uh, be more sketchy. Uh, for, he, he's for like, Renfrew Way and stuff like that, he came in, he'd planned this for a certain amount of time. Yep. Um, We'll get Barry the cat kind of halfway through his at the minute. I put it out to everybody, I put a post up. I say it's 10th, 11th and 12th, come down. Just yeah. as long as everybody sort of collaborates and sees what we're trying to do. All I heard about was infighting and beef online and things like that. And down here at Yardbox, we, we are Switzerland. Mm-hmm. We, we just try to accommodate everybody. See if you all work together. 
maybe maybe we can show what we can actually achieve as a unit. Speaking of units, um, there's a couple of units right here. Oh, yeah. There's a couple of units. It's an incredible piece. <laughs> we still, we Thanks still, very much. We still get we still get comments on it all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. And this is Guzzler and uh, oh god, I can't even remember the boy's name. Now. That's terrible. He'll kill me. <laughs> uh, the Jordy. The Jordy. Aye, it looks really good, but they've done a good job. You know, it's two boys that are just used to doing graffiti all the time and they've yep. got a background and everything in there, so... Yep. What, what, what are you thinking of the traffic noise? Do you know what? For my whole life I was like, oh, I want to paint arch. That would be like <laughs> the thing that I wanted to do as a Wayne. And then the moment I started doing it and I felt the noise and everything, I was just like, oh my God, I hate this. I hate everything about this. Are you not, are you not listening to music? Well, I was, and now I'm not, and I'm sort of, my ears are bleeding almost. I've offered every artist ear defenders. <laughs> They're a bit cumbersome. Um, has anyone shouted anything uh, to you at the window? I'm well versed in having folks shout at me, but you know, not, not so far. I've had a few horns, but nothing uh, nothing else. So today, I'm actually stepping completely out of my comfort zone and doing a little bit of type and some characters, yeah. which is absolutely not my usual ball game, but I'm willing to try it. So, well, you need to diversify to get ahead, don't you? Exactly. I need I like to practice it. everything. So yeah. you've got to sort of have a have a round skill base. You know what they say, a jack of all trades and that, instead of just painting like great faces. So, you know. Yeah. Well, you've got your high vis on, so that does. Exactly. I'll uh, go. Thanks for your time. No worries. Boop. Happy painting. What have you, what have you noticed like uh, selling out the most when you put on a print show like this? What Disney sell is writers' names. Oh, nobody wants your name in their house. Okay. They want something more unique than that, you know, or something they don't know, uh, or something that surprises them or whatever, or they can relate to. It's this one right here, the Persevere uh, by Ellie type, is just, so she could have sold 50. I think it's just the composition of it, and the colours, and the gold, and the blue there. I think mm -hmm. people just can relate to it. You open the gallery, you got a lot of the artists that actually put the work up, but they don't buy the work. Sure. You know, so you've got actually got to have double the serving at an opening for in order to start selling the work. That's public and the artists. I think it's mere boots on the ground and actually selling your work. You're supposed to, you're supposed to post it every two minutes, post it every two minutes. Obviously, they need to know where to buy it, and you've got to push that, which we don't probably do as much as other places to do. You know. Well, one thing's for sure, you're in a totally authentic space because you can hear the train uh, moving above. We're right underneath the Glasgow Partick aye, aye, train line. You, you, sometimes if there's quite a few come along at once and all that, your Coke can's actually sliding off the table <laughs> and all that, you know. Like, you're funny. constantly looking. These, these, these were all straight. That's just for the trains, you know, you know, and you've constantly got to go. Every train, you could be here all day, just go all that for every train, walking off the timetable and straightening them up. Okay, well, if you liked that video, then feel free to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with the other videos that myself and others will be uploading in the future. Gaz got me to take away a skateboard for Konzo to, to take back to him. Maybe leave in the comments, should I just keep this? I'm thinking about keeping it. It might look really nice with my to add to my collection. Maybe I'll do it on my swap. Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for hanging out. Smash that flipping subscribe button or else something might happen to your family.